Hey everybody, Steve here, and today I want to talk to you about the great GPU drought of 2017 and 2018. And I want to share with you a personal story of how I got ripped off. It's kind of embarrassing. I guess I consider myself a, a, a marginally savvy shopper, and I say marginally because I did get ripped off. I wanted to let you know that I got duped on one, and I want to share my experience with you so that it doesn't happen with anybody else. So feel free to flame me in the comments, tell me how stupid I am and all that other kind of nonsense. But hindsight is 2020. And as I look back on it, yeah, I've made a pretty stupid mistake. Um, but I made the mistake. And uh, I think that if it uh, could happen to me, it could happen to other people. So uh, let's just dive right in. Let's let's the root cause of this is uh, going to the Best Buy website here. Here is my uh, GPU of choice. It's the XFX AMD Radeon 588 gig DDR5. And the first two that I bought of this, I think I paid, I think I paid 259 for it months and months and months ago. And then I started noticing the price going up. So I bought a couple more in the 300s and you know, before you know it, you know, they're at 619 now. Uh, here's fries, you can see thousand dollars. It's obviously a different card, but, um, Nine ninety nine. I mean, the prices of cards are just absolutely through the roof. Here's Newegg. These prices were four fifty nine just two weeks ago, and a month and a half ago were in the threes. So maybe you decide to go to eBay, and you can see people are just asking insane prices for these things. Okay, so that made me decide to start thinking outside the box and i was thinking outside the box i was like well what if i were to go and try to get them from a wholesaler well one of the most widely used wholesaling websites for us folks who are trying to source stuff from china is alibaba.com and alibaba.com is actually bigger than amazon if you can imagine that and i think it's bigger than amazon and ebay put together so I go to Alibaba and I was like, oh yeah, how about, okay, how about uh, an R, how about an XFX, there it is, RX 588 gig, let's check this stuff out. And you kind of go through, and you, and you kind of stop and you say, oh, wait a minute, 150 to 210. Now, you know, hindsight's 2020 and I should have paid closer attention to the fact that, you know, there are some higher prices here, but there are plenty of them that are very, very cheap. So looking through these, I decided to pick one and, uh, and I clicked on it. Now they don't have their listing uh, here anymore, but essentially I picked this one right here, Hang Sang Trading. Now they are a two year gold supplier and I'm thinking to myself, okay, that's pretty cool. So I come down here and I emailed the supplier, good old Jackie Yin here. And uh, here's what happened. I said, you have in stock, how long shipped to the United States? And Jackie says, yes, it's available in stock, three to four days, yada, yada, yada. For more information, contact us below. Contact email, genuinebrands at gmail.com. So I did a little bit more research and I was like, okay, genuinebrands at gmail.com. Let's see here, genuine brands all about. All right, so let's check out their Facebook page. They got a Facebook page. They got 250, they got 205 people that like it. They post fairly regularly. Even, even having people doing inquiries and stuff like that. So upon further investigation of genuine brands, they seem to be a pretty heavy player in consumer electronics. So I felt, okay, it's, I'm kind of pretty sure they're legit. Once again, hindsight's 2020, but yes, I did contact Jackie at genuine brands, but take a look at what I overlooked right here. Yeah, I should have been a little bit more diligent, but Jumping over to my email, I will show you the first email that I sent. I sent them an email saying, do you have more photos? How do I pay? How soon do you ship? And they're like, okay, they're $200. So I'm thinking, okay, well, this is how wholesale works. This is pretty cool. And it says we accept payment through Bitcoin, Western Union, MoneyGram. Hope you know Bitcoin, Coinbase, yada, yada, yada. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I, I know that. I'm smart, you know? So come up here a couple emails and so I mean right off the bat I say I can pay with Bitcoin but how do I get confirmation I'm concerned about scams I mean this is right off the bat I'm I can tell as I I go back and I try to think through my thinking process here that I was I was leery the whole time you really have a sure delivery if payment is done through Bitcoin 
So if you're blah, 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 today, tomorrow, okay? Now, obviously, I'm very skeptical. I even even try to sidetrack them here and say, love to do business, PayPal. All right, so they basically flat out said no to the PayPal. It says our minimum order quantity is uh, five, but we'll send you one. So I was okay with that. They gave me their Bitcoin address. So before sending them any money, I decided to take their Bitcoin address. So here I got transaction IP information. Looks like they've done 63 transactions since June and it said scam alert none. So at this point, between this and this, they've got what appears to be a legitimate Facebook page and then Googling their email address, I found tons and tons and tons of references to where they're basically in the consumer electronics business. Okay, so I'm still skeptical at this point and I asked for additional photos and they send me additional photos and I'm like, oh, okay, that looks good. All right, we got that one and that one. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? I'm like, oh man, I could get, I could get all those for 2000 bucks. How awesome would that be? And they even show me a uh, real close up here, serial numbers, the whole nine yards. And I'm, and I'm starting to think, you know, okay, this is pretty cool. All right. This looks legit. I mean, between this and Hang Sang and Two Year Gold and yada, 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 I'm thinking, all right. I sent him an email that says, hey, can you send that photo 1111 uh, with a note with today's date? Proof that you have it in stock? I said, I'll buy nine more right now with Bitcoin. How many do you have in stock? And they send me this. Now, right there, I should have totally have been completely convinced that this is fraud because this is simply photoshopped on it. But I got caught in the moment. I wanted my GPU for 200 bucks and they gave me their Bitcoin address and boom, I sent the payment. What a dumbass. So what was my first clue that I had completely gotten duped? Well, I think uh, I had sent my Bitcoin on like a Saturday morning or something like that. So I knew I was going to hear from them until Monday. But as I was looking at listings on eBay, I found this picture right here. And I'm like, oh, crap. That is the exact same picture as the one they duped me on. So they stole the picture from either here or this guy stole the picture. Who knows who stole the picture from where? But nonetheless, it's the exact same picture. So right there, the wind was out of my sails and I knew... I had been duped. So I mentally started preparing for it, but yet at the same time remained hopelessly optimistic. And then they dropped the bomb. There's a problem concerning your order shipment. We could, uh, you got to get through the broken English, but basically they're saying we've, we've tried to ship it since the third import export doesn't allow shipment of only one unit. I mean, give me a fucking break. Really? Policy shipping only one unit. Therefore, they said export agency rules three. So they said your package can only be cleared and approved, yada, yada, yada. You need, boom. You need to make sure you pay the extra two units before shipping out your package today. And me, in my great haste, said this sounds like a scam. Prove to me that this is not a scam by refunding my Bitcoin. I said, if you can do that, then I will send Bitcoin for three orders. And with my last ditch effort of a Hail Mary pass, I said, if you're a real company, you should not have a problem doing this. Well, don't laugh too hard at me, but here's the response. You ready? Boom. Since then, I haven't gotten a single solitary peep from them. Um, I did complain to Alibaba and this listing is now gone. I don't know whether that had anything to do with me or not, but I also uh, told Gmail. And if there's anybody who has any uh, ideas as to what I might be able to do with this IP information right here, please let me know in the comments. So, Mama always said, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. And the reality is, is that after going through this, what I've learned is that when you do searches on Alibaba, you've got to make sure that you click on Trade Assurance that will basically uh, make your transaction more like a eBay transaction with PayPal. 
uh, to where you have a shot at getting your money back. And what they also recommended after I read the directions was click these other boxes here. And as you can see, tried to click all three boxes. Uh, nobody fulfills the obligation of all three boxes. Now, assess supplier means that Alibaba has actually gone to their plant and did an on-site inspection of them to make sure that they were the real deal and everything like that. Um, so ideally, you'd be able to find a vendor uh, that, that has your product with all three. If I do that, I don't get all three. Maybe if I back this off a little bit instead of asking for it, just let's just go with a, a 580. Uh, I can check all three of these and I still get some options here. But take a look. I think these guys, these guys are the real deal. I mean, you have to have a serious cash outlay. Uh, $35,000 for that one. $35,000 and it goes on from there. You know, they got a much higher price of 350 to 400, which seems to be much more realistic. And they're also asking you for 100 pieces, which means you got to drop $35,000. So the bottom line is don't make the same mistake that I made. Uh, there are no shortcuts. There are no sweet deals. And uh, so I guess we're just going to kind of have to suck it up and get through this drought. So here is an example of a much more realistic situation. Look at these prices. I mean, RX 588 with Samsung memory is 504 uh, with an order with an order of 30. So uh, you can see that outsourcing to, to China, at least through Alibaba, offers no relief in pricing. And the other thing to take in consideration is the fact that uh, the Chinese New Year is in two days. So uh, they will all be taking like a month off. So I think the drought's going to get worse before it gets better. Prices are going to go up before they come back down. And uh, maybe by summertime, who knows? But anyhow, I hope you found this uh, informative. I know I look like a complete dumbass, and that's okay. I wanted to share my experience because this seems to be a trap that if you get overly excited and you get a little click happy, uh, you can find yourself losing money rather quickly. And I just wanted to share my experience so that doesn't happen to anybody else. All right, this is Steve signing off. Lots more videos coming up. This one jumped in the front of the line because uh, I just wanted to get it out as quickly as possible to try to help anybody else who might get ripped off. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how stupid I am and I'll see you in the next video.